roaming the spin room floor tonight, talking to tonight's major players. Uh, we told him we'd come go back to him when he had news. Peter, what have you got? And Shannon, we've got Congressman John Delaney, who presented a real contrast tonight on the stage between the really progressive candidates at the middle and yourself, not as progressive. Do you think that you made an impact? Do you think Every, you broke through? Everything I'm trying to achieve is progressive in terms of the goal, but I have workable solutions to how to get there. As I said when I talked about Detroit, the best outcomes are when the private sector and the government work well together. And that's a big theme of my campaign. And a lot of those folks on the stage don't want there in many ways to be a private economy. At one point, Elizabeth Warren was listening to you saying that some of her proposals were a little too far to the left. And she said, uh, why are you even bothering running for president if you're just going to say what we cannot do? So uh, can you tell us uh, you've had some time to think about that? That sounds like someone who doesn't want to defend her policies. Right? Imagine if saying to John Kennedy when he said we should go to the moon by the end of the decade, well, I think we should go to the moon next month. So why are you even calling for that? It's not aggressive enough. I mean, we need big ideas, but they have to be workable. I always think you gotta be able to answer three questions to the American people. Is it a workable idea? How do you pay for it? And how are you gonna get it done? I have big ideas for all the important issues, whether it be infrastructure, public education, creating jobs, dealing with climate change, fixing healthcare. And all my plans are workable. I tell people I'm gonna pay for them, and I tell people exactly how I'm gonna get them done. And one final very quick question. You were the first person in the race. Do you think that tonight was a breakout for you, or do you have something else to do uh, before you can really break through in the poll? We, we thought it was a very good night because I made a clear contrast. And, and I said in my opening, we got a choice. You go down the road of Senator Sanders and Warren, free everything, bad policies like Medicare for all, impossible promises, lose independent voters, re-elect Donald Trump. And as I said, that's what happened with McGovern, that's what happened with Mondale, that's what happened with the caucus. Or you can nominate someone who's got some big ideas around how to create universal health care but have choice, how to actually rebuild infrastructure, create jobs, wants to bring the country together with real solutions. We win the White House, and guess what? We'll actually start getting things done. All right, Congressman, thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Shannon. So uh, you heard it right there. Uh, we are just a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's just, uh, and we'll have Scott come over this way because we just talked to Congressman Delaney. This is how much extra uh, there is to talk about with these candidates. Uh, they were on there for almost two and a half hours, didn't get it all out. So that's what we're doing over here, just trying to see what else might be left over, and we will keep it coming. Shannon. All right. Sounds good. Let us know. Peter Ducey on the spin room floor. Thank you, Peter.